Hey, I'm Matthew Munger, and it's time to explore a new feature in Webflow, Pagination for Collection Lists. Let's start with considering why you would want to paginate a collection list. Take a blog post, for example. At the end, you want to recommend some related articles. The design calls for two cards side by side, but you don't want to limit the recommendation to only two articles. That's where pagination becomes useful. Simply select the collection list, then go to the settings panel. Check the box next to paginate items. The feature is now enabled. Some things just changed. First of all, we can see that a pagination control just appeared that allows us to set how many collection items appear in each pagination page. We only want two blog post cards on each page. The second thing we notice is that when we go to the navigator, we see a new element appeared inside of the collection list wrapper. It's called pagination. And that makes sense. Inside we find a previous and next buttons. Cool. But wait. Why don't we see the buttons in the canvas? Heading back to the settings panel, turn off the limit items control. For our example, we don't need this anymore now the pagination is here. There is the next button. If we preview the page, it's possible to click the next button. We then get the next two blog posts on page two. Plus, the previous button now automatically appears since we're no longer on page one of the pagination. Let's click the new pagination buttons a few more times for fun. Now back in the settings panel, let's select the pagination wrapper. Here we get controls to quickly jump to any of the pages in our collection, either using the drop-down or the arrows. Simple. We have 10 pages because there are 20 blog posts total, and two posts are shown on each page. Simple math. The pagination wrapper can be moved around too. Place it above the post? Sure. To the side? Sure. Previous on the left and next on the right? Well, yes, it may not be obvious, but it is actually easy to do. Duplicate the pagination wrapper. Yep, you can totally do it as long as it stays inside the collection list wrapper. Let's move one of them before our list and the other one after our list. Now on the collection list wrap, let's make sure it's set to flex horizontal. <clears throat> to complete the layout, on the pagination controls, hide the next button. To do this, add a class and let's call it hidden. Then make that class have a display of none. Now for the other side, give the previous button our new hidden class. There you have it. Let's preview it. This is Webflow, so there is complete design control over these buttons. Change the text or remove the icon. Sure. The icon will even change colors based on the font color. That's cool. Has it occurred to you that pagination can also be used with product collection lists? They can. I repeat, yes, they can. Let's look at Webflow University to see what else we can learn about pagination. The link is in the description of this video. Of course, there is a wonderfully snarky and concise explainer video that you should watch as soon as this one finishes. We learn that each page of pagination can hold 100 items, just like before when we had just plain old vanilla blog lists. But that might hinder our purpose of pagination, which is to help us increase page load speed. Here we see that it's possible to share a link that contains the pagination page number. Interestingly, this works even with multiple pagination collection lists on a page. Each list page is referenced in the URL. What about SEO? To quote from the page, since paginated content is very common on the web, search engines like Google index pagination pages and return the most relevant results to searchers. Again, you don't need to do anything to index your paginated pages. Search engines will take care of it for you. Super. Webflow is always thinking about us and taking care of it before we even ask. Noted from the FAQ section concerning site search, 
Only the first pagination page will be indexed because that is the one that is shown without any query strings. Going back to our project, we can click around back and forth on our new pagination buttons while we dream up of all the possibilities this opens up for our past, current, and future Webflow projects. That wraps up our look at the new feature Pagination for Collection Lists in Webflow. Like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. All relevant links can be found in the description. Until next time, happy designing!